Hey everyone, this is the Block TV Podcast. It's 8.35 p.m. on this November 12th, 2018. On this Veterans Day, 8.35 p.m. I'm your host, Gabriel Logan. Let's get this started on the podcast on this Tuesday. Hey everyone, how's it going? Or Monday, sorry. Anyway, hope all, uh, everyone's doing well. I want to talk about a couple things that, you know, the first we got to talk about is Stan Lee. Basically, the godfather of comics, who basically started Marvel Comics um, as the co-creator of Spider-Man, Hulk, and everything that has to do with comics. And the last thing he published with the former magazine that changed the name to Marvel was Fantastic Four. And uh, Stan Lee basically got into the business at a very young age. I mean... He was doing comics at 18, 19 years old, and he became a pioneer. I mean, Stan Lee is, like, one of the biggest things ever to, you know, of comic books. I mean, the guy's a legend. Um, Anyway, so rest in peace. Another thing I want to talk about is... uh, So, cops who say they're heroes uh, just shot a... Basically, black security guard. So basically, guns only apply to white people, the Second Amendment. So all these people who walk around and go, the Second Amendment, fuck your Second Amendment. It only applies to whites. Uh, This is brought to you by the Huff Post. A black security guard was killed by police as he tried to stop a shooting. Witnesses say a cop shot Jamal Robertson as he held down a suspect in a shooting at the bar. A black security guard was shot dead by a police officer. As he held down a suspect in a shooting at the bar where he worked, Jamal Robertson, 26, was working early Sunday at Manny's Blue Room, a bar in the predominantly black Chicago suburb of Robbins, Illinois, when a patron who was part of a drunken group that had been kicked out returned with a gun at 4 a.m. and opened fire. According to the Chicago Sun-Times, several people were shot. Robertson was armed at the time, grabbed one of the men, held him down, and waited for police, according to witnesses. He had somebody on the ground with his knee in his back, with his gun to his back, like, don't move, Adam Harris told WGN-TV. But witnesses said Robertson became the victim as soon as police arrived. A responding officer with the Minotarian Police Department immediately shot Robertson, who later died at the hospital. Harris said the officer shot an innocent man and that people on the scene tried to warn police that Robertson was a security guard. Everybody was screaming out, security, he was a security guard, and they still did their job and saw a black man with a gun and basically killed him, Harris said. Minotarian Police Chief Dan... Delaney confirmed the shooting, telling reporters an officer encountered a subject with a gun and he was involved in an officer-involved shooting. The department said the Illinois State Police Public Integrity Task Force would investigate the shooting in order to ensure transparency and maintain public trust. Robertson was known as a musician at local churches who had dreams of becoming a police officer. How ironic. The same guy who's a security guard who wanted to be a cop got killed by police. People who knew him told ABC7 and WGN-TV, how in the world does this security guard get shot by police? Asked Walter Turner, the pastor at New Spiritual Light Baptist Church where Robinson played the organ, a young man that was literally doing his job and now he's gone. Calls to the Illinois State Police and Metro Police Department weren't immediately returned. The Cook County Sheriff's Office is reportedly investigating the initial shooting. From August 2016 to May of this year, at least 300, 378 black Americans had been killed by police and more than 3,357 people have been fatally shot by cops since 2015. So this whole thing about the NRA saying, oh, well, we need to stop a, to stop a bad person, uh, you know, to stop a bad person, you know, to, you have to be a good person with a gun to stop a bad person with a gun. These are the words by the NRA, the National Redomicans Association. Um, 
This is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. This guy was a good guy with a gun. This guy was in church. He played the organ. He had dreams of being a cop. And he was a security guard. And he got shot dead by a fucking thug in blue. Because they immediately assumed, oh, there's a black guy with a gun. And they shot him. It's just fucking sickening that these stupid stupid cops that have no fucking IQ, no common sense, will shoot an innocent black person just for no fucking reason. That's all they do, man. Cops, I'm sorry, but cops are not heroes. They are the opposite of heroes. They are the villains. It's ridiculous. I mean, 3,300 people have been fatally killed by cops. I mean... And you know what the like the most dangerous jobs are that people don't have guns? Construction workers, electricians. Those people that go up on the wires. People die more of that per year than anything. I'm serious. <laughs> people who are construction workers, but they don't get the recognition for building your home. And when they die, no one's mourning them. It's just, it, I'm so sick and tired of this shit in this country. These, these cops need to be held accountable for their actions. They just murdered a security guard. Basically, a security guard who had the right to have a gun was protecting the public from basically a psychopathic drunk who shot several people and he did his job and he still got shot by cops. I mean, how are cops this stupid? They were warning them too, saying, hey, this is a security guard. They could have just told him to drop the gun and show his permit and be on his way. Like there's a video that went viral of these cops stopping this black guy because he has because it's an open carry state and they immediately racial profile the black man for having a gun and he had a permit with him and he showed that he had the right to carry that gun with him and they looked at his permit they checked it and they said and then they give him his gun back and the guy's like ah you stupid fucking motherfucking cops ah, and he's like laughing on the phone and, but they. But that's what they get. If you're going to be a fucking dickhead and racially profile a black man in an, obviously in an open carry state, I mean, it just shows how fucking racially profiled these cops are. Uh, there's plenty of videos out there on YouTube where you'll see a guy in an open carry state walking around with an assault rifle and the cops like stop him, they talk to him and they drive away. A black man does the same thing and cops are racing to the scene, pointing a gun at him, telling him to get down on the ground. It's just, this is the world we live in and I think it's bullshit. I mean, it's like they see a black person with a gun and they immediately assume the guy's a thug. It's just, I, I, I don't like living in a world where this still goes on. It's goddamn 2018 and we still have these racist thug cops shooting innocent people still. They have not done anything. And and this whole, oh, but if there's a good guy with a gun, look what happened in Thousand Oaks. You had like five off-duty cops there and a security guard. And it wasn't enough. 13 people are now deceased and more than what, 15, 20 injured? By a Marine who was a coward. He was a terrorist. He was a scumbag. This guy had obviously mental health problems since day one. And look what happened. And that's my point. Why are Republicans and the NRA not saying anything now? They had off-duty cops there. At that event. And a security guard. It's the fucking guns, you fucking idiots. That's what it is. 
It's the fucking guns. There's more fucking guns in this goddamn fucking country than there are of people. We don't need more fucking guns. What we need is mentally ill people to not get them. He legally bought that gun. I just... I mean, look. Here's the thing. Everyone, you know, everyone's heard of the First Amendment, right? Okay, Lenny Bruce was notorious for saying horrible stuff. And he had his First Amendment rights violated. And he went to jail for it, right? Okay, well... See, they violated his First Amendment rights. And it's just, you know, I don't get it. Like, if you make a threat to someone that's against First Amendment, that's not protected in the First Amendment, you can go to jail for making threats. Okay? So, if that's true, then, I mean, that is true. Why the fuck would we let mentally ill people to have guns then? You see what I'm saying? If we have an amendment that's put in place for certain things to be legal and certain things not to be legal, then why can't we with the Second Amendment? Why, why does every Republican dumbass think that every person in the world should be able to have a gun? That's stupid. <laughs> I think guns are fucking awesome. I really do. I love watching um, that... FPS Russia guy on YouTube. I don't think he should be able to have that shit, but you know, the science of it is cool. You know, when you see stuff in slow motion, but they need to have some laws in place to keep mentally ill people of getting them. They need to have regulation where they have to go through background checks and screening and all these things. Mental evaluation before they can ever get a weapon. But our country doesn't do that. They don't. Our country doesn't do that shit. Because they don't care. Also, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, so we'll see what's going on with my prostate. But anyway, thank you for listening to Black TV Podcast. And uh, check us out on Twitter, Instagram, and whatever else. And, um, yeah. We live in dark times, people. So, you know, I'm glad everyone voted. I'm glad Democrats control the House. And uh, Donald Trump is the biggest fucking idiot I've ever seen. Later, bitches. Woo!